Hi, everyone. It's Professor Hall. Welcome back. We are in week six of technical and professional writing, and we have finally come to it. We are putting everything together to create our instruction manual. So I have a couple of links for you, um, writing a manual, formatting a manual, in and also uh, creating an effective instruction manual. Um, from the writing comments, you do not have a um, reading quiz this week, but I highly recommend that you look over those documents before doing your homework. When I have in the past done a similar assignment, um, people who don't read, it's pretty obvious that they didn't read because the formatting is all messed up. It's not kind of done correctly. Um, I'm hoping by this point that I was able to give you some feedback, at least on the instructional part, so that you have uh, some, some direction to go in for putting the full manual together. Um, the assignment for this week, creating your instruction manual, you will have a cover sheet, you will have four to five pages of um, text and pictures, um, including the ones that you did for last time. And then you will also have that revised version of, of your text, um, possibly revised version of your images, depending on um, what you needed, and then your citations, which will be at the end. Some people will not have citations. If you use free open source pictures, you don't need to cite them. If you used other pictures, you do need to cite them. Um, so make sure that you still have a work cited if appropriate and if needed. Um, that is kind of it. Your rubric basically follows all of your instructions that I've given you. Um, you're being graded on the cover page, you're being graded on the instructions and how clear the instructions are. You're being graded on the images, the placement of the images, how they enhance the text, um, citations as appropriate, the clarity of the text, the readability, and also uh, whether it meets the needs of your target audience, which was a consideration for last time. So if you look at um, some of the other checkpoints, you'll see that basically the rubrics from those kind of carried over and then we put it all together. So that is it for this week. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks, everyone.